Hello people and um, welcome to my latest video on my should be in the Hall of Fame series and for me this fighter should definitely be in the Hall of Fame even though he is one of the band of fighters um, in the category of fighters never to win a world title I think this fighter is more than deserving um, of joining the Hall of Fame based on other fighters who are currently in there uh, also mainly based on his career so let's uh, look at some information on the ghost of Joplin Jeff Clark now, Jeff Clark, first of all, was a hell of a fighter, okay? He had a great jab. He was a great mover. Um, you know, he, he was a very pinpoint puncher. Very, very good defensive fighter. Um, you know, when he went into defensive mode, he was hard to pin down and knock out, um, as Harry Wills and others found out. And he had a career um, of more than 180 fights, okay? So he had a very, very large career, did Jeff Clark. He also had um, a massive total of 40 fights, against champions that includes many luminaries such as sam langford um harry wills and others battling levinsky you name them um so he has a huge total um of fights against champions he also has a huge total of fights against hall of fame fighters having one of the highest totals in my uh, retired database with a total of 39 fights against hall of fame fighters which is um a ridiculous total really he certainly didn't win them all, but he certainly had all those fights against that elite opposition. Uh, Jeff Clark was also a multiple-time challenger for the coloured heavyweight title. Of course, he did not capture the established title, but he was a multiple-time challenger for coloured heavyweight title. And Jeff Clark scored in his career over 70 knockouts, okay? So he was also a decent puncher, um, you know, even though he was not the biggest heavyweight around at that time. Um, Jeff Clark also had a total of 34 fights um, against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters. So when you look at his um, the names he fought in terms of champions, all of famous pound-for-pounders, he lost a lot of those fights. He also won some of those fights. Um, you know, add that to the myriad of other fighters he fought. His resume is thick. And in fact, looking at his resume, okay, he beat the um, Irish puncher Peter Ma. He also beat... Uh, the excellent loop -a loop puncher Dave Holly, okay, an outstanding fighter um, who people on my channel will be a little bit more aware of, or if you follow Scrapbook. Uh, another fighter to be, okay, was the six foot three, heavy, rugged, durable battling Jim Johnson, who, while certainly not the greatest heavyweight in terms of skill set, was still a strong, rugged fighter who was durable and could be a handful, okay. Jeff Clark beat him. He also beat Larry Temple. Um, he also beat Black Bill. And he also beat former lineal light heavyweight champion when it Great light heavyweight fighters battling Levinsky. Um, that's another major name there. Jeff Clark also holds fame of beating the mighty Sam Langford himself. And he also beat, okay, former coloured light heavyweight champion. Very tough fighter. Um, you know, underrated fighter from his time. Um, the dangerous kid Norfolk. He also beat, okay, uh, my Ed Smith. Okay, so that's automatic entry to Hall of Fame. Having a win against Gumbo. I'm only joking. But he did beat Gumbo Smith, who was a six foot two and a half heavyweight. So Jeff Clark, as well as beating those guys, he also lost um, to Dixit Kid. He also lost to Sam Langford. He also lost to Hall of Fame former coloured heavyweight champion Joe Jeanette. And Ditto, uh, former Hall of Fame and coloured, well, former coloured champion and Hall of Fame heavyweight Sam McVeigh. He also lost to the outstanding um, Black Panther Harry Wills. He also lost to battling Jim Johnson and he also lost to the capable Willie Meehan uh, who had a very kind of meek style uh, involving um, um, kind of slapping with his punches, tying you up, making a mess of things. Um, but Willie Meehan gave Jack Dempsey a lot of problems um, in his fight series with him. Uh, didn't give Harry Greb or Langford the same problems, but he gave Jack Dempsey major, major problems. So he lost to Willie Meehan too. So what we can say about Jeff Clark is he had a massive career, okay, over 180 fights. In that time, uh, he was a regular challenger for the Coloured Heavyweight Championship. Um, and just when you look at the list of fighters he fought, not only the Pound for Pounders, which is a huge tally, the Hall of Famers is a huge tally, and the Champions is a huge tally. When you look at his other opponents, you know, whether it be battling Jim Johnson, Willie Meehan, Gumbo Smith, um, you know, Peter Ma, Dave Holly. On and on and on, um, you find that he actually fought a staggeringly tough resume. So when you add that to the skills he had as a fighter, you know, the fact he was a, a very, very well um, respected fighter in his time with a great skill set, like I said, a great jab, he'd double or triple on jab, he'd move around, he'd move left, he'd move right, he'd, he'd keep your repositioning. You know, in some fights, he also showed great defensive prowess, you know, like a 20-round battle with Harry Wills, where Wills was in ferocious form and just went after him and was 
was consistently trying to knock him out every round. Um, and Jeff Clark, it was said um, in the reports, could barely get off six punches around because Wills were in such ferocious form. He was just after him, teeing off regular, um, trying to take him out. And Jeff Clark managed to survive the entire fight, um, which shows that also he's experienced enough to go in there with a prime prime Harry Wills um, and stay the course I'll be in a losing effort so there's Jeff Clark the latest entry into my should be in the Hall of Fame playlist <laughs> 